another bird feeder made from recycled junk. This is a shake cheese, um, like Parmesan cheese for spaghetti or whatever, dried and shredded. And a lot of the, at least generic ones, come with this um, pretty standard top, which I've already cut up in pieces. But it's the top and you get these flaps come up, you know, and let you uh, dispense the cheese or bulk cheese. So what I did is I took the lid off, pulled the lid off from the main lid. Which is uh, composed of these. And then I cut along the fold lines, where the lid folds, I cut this middle strip out. It cracked in half, that wasn't intentional. It shouldn't affect things too much. And here's just the top rinsed out and label removed. I will be putting a bale on it like that, mounted to the sides, not the top. I learned that lesson from previous projects. So this should be pretty much free. All I really had to do was lay this down on top of a bigger lid. I purposely put it off center because this side's going to be where the food's going to mostly come through. Actually, I want it this way, so the food's coming through on the uh, side that's going to be tightest against the uh, unit here, and then whatever migrates out this way. Anyway, that's the plan. So I put this down here, traced out three of the four holes with the marker, and then I used a brad point drill to drill slightly bigger holes than I needed, allow for the error. And now it should just snap together. Let's see how it goes. And there it is snapped together. Snapped that little uh, bar I cut out from the lid. Top part of the lid. Through. This is going to have to hold pretty well or the seeds will all dump at once if this ever breaks loose. So I may either put some glue or melt a couple of these to make it a little more captive so they don't come apart. But it's holding pretty well actually. I don't know, probably good enough. Alright, and then I shaped a piece of metal uh, steel wire into a bale. Not perfect, but it'll do. A little more imperfect now I look at it. Yeah, it'll do. Uh, putting a hole in the center is not good. Water drains in. I used to always make them that way. Now I'm making them with bales on the side. Just gonna heat the wire a little bit. Poke a hole through. Same thing for the other side. Try to make it as even as I can here. So there's the bale assembled. So this project really couldn't be much simpler. Let's see how it works. I didn't even glue that or melt that. I'm not going to put a hole on it though. I'm just going to do this as a test run. And there it is. from this side and then it can shake down the other side if it wants to. The birds can see a lot of... So this doesn't have any external spring like the other one did. It's just the springiness of the plastic itself. It's only going to last as long as the plastics last. Well, we'll see how it goes. Got the hummingbird feeder out and although they're not up here yet going to be a little bit yet for the get anything flowering up here. But I got it up before any early arrivals. And here's the little bird feeder I just made. It's a temporary. It's probably not really hardy enough for winter use. But until the bear destroys it or 
Tapujos.